Welcome to the making of the Black Flame Candle Soap. Ah! <laughs> Here we go. Welcome back. This is Debbie with Lake House Soapery. And today we are going to be working on, yep, the Black Flame Candle Soap. I am so super excited to be making this soap. Um, this is for the Hella Handmade Creation release. Uh, this is a new series for me. This soap will be first in series. And I haven't done a making video in such a long time, so I figured this would be a fun one to go ahead and get started with. So, um, off we go. So let me show you some of the magical ingredients that we're going to be using in the soap today. Uh, the first one is silk. When you put the silk in the soaps, it just gives it a nice, smooth, creamy feel when you add it to your ingredients. And I dissolve the silk in the lye water. And you'll notice that the color of my lye water is more like this creamy color, kind of like the silk, as opposed to some people's lye water. It looks really cl crystal clear. Mine won't like, look like that. It's going to look more um, creamy colored. And then here we have some natural cocoa 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 butter <laughs> and um, I'm gonna put this ingredient in the soap this is one I don't haven't used in the bars that I've um, posted with Hella handmade creations in the past um, so a new ingredient a new magical ingredient cocoa butter I think you'll really like that one and the cocoa butter will get um, melted it's a solid oil as you can see and uh, solid butter, sorry, and that will get melted down and uh, then we'll add in the other solid oils, or I've already added those solid oils in uh, and melted them down and then the liquid oils got added in so uh, we created a nice magical blend of oils and butters for this soap. Alright, let's talk about a couple of the other magical ingredients that we're going to add to this soap. It's a black flame candle soap, so uh, I decided to let the um, base of the soap kind of be all one, not kind of, it's all going to be one color. Uh, it's going to be a magical color to look like the black flame candle. And uh, we're going to use um, black charcoal for the base color of the soap. Charcoal uh, is really is a really good facial bar. It makes a really good facial bar. I make no claims for my soap. I'm not allowed to do that. But anyway, if I were to make a claim, I would just tell you that the black charcoal is, is really good for as a facial bar. And then uh, we couldn't have a magical bar without using some magical glitter. I don't know if you can see the color of this glitter. I believe it's called Solar Glitter by Nature's Garden. Uh, it's a really gold, pretty, um, uh, it was a really pretty bunches of colors. And then I had two different colors of purple and that really pretty shade of silver. So those are all of the colors that we're going to layer on top of the bar to give it that sparkly look of a black flame candle. And then uh, the fragrance oil that I'm using is again a very magical blend. Uh, it's uh, blackberries and something a little extra special blend. I think you'll really like it. It's, it has a very sweet kind of nighttime smell. And then here's what the oils look like when they're all melted down. You can see that cocoa butter was melted down and then I have all of the other oils in there. I have coconut oil, olive oil, palm oil, um, castor oil, um, so the bars should feel really nice on your skin. Um, so yeah, this is what they look like all melted down. And then since we're going to just use the one color in the base of the soap for the black flame candle, I can go ahead and just mix my colorant right into the bucket of oils. So yeah, again, I was going for that black flame candle. I wanted the base of the soap to just all be that nice one dark color. And yeah, we'll see if we can get some of that um, black charcoal added, black activated charcoal added to the oils. I told you guys it's been a while since I've done a making video. So trying to put all this together in a way that makes sense for everybody. 
when I originally recorded it, my soap studio sits on the other side of our theater room in the basement, and I don't remember what it was that my husband was watching. It was probably either politics or sports, and it likely wasn't sports because, well, we're not having much of that in these COVID days, so it was probably politics, and they were very loud and very opinionated, and I could barely hear myself talking as I was making the video. So I went ahead and decided to um, do a voiceover on this one. So that might be why it's a little bit disjointed here and there, but hopefully you'll you'll stick with me through it. I think it'll be a fun soap to watch. Alrighty. Oh, I think it was at this point I remembered I didn't have my safety goggles on, so I had to run and go grab my safety goggles um, and gloves and all the things that you need when you're taking your safety precautions to make soap. So, yes, here we go. Um, oh yeah, I also had to like rip the top off of that activated charcoal without spilling it everywhere, which turned out to be a pretty big production. Anyway, yes, got gloves, got glasses, got my long sleeves. Dude, I was ready to make some soap. <laughs> Let's go, Deb. Come on. <laughs> so, um, as I said, since the base of the soap is all going to be one color, I could just scoop in that activated charcoal and we will get it mixed into the oils. So plop and it goes. You have to be really careful when you're adding this in. Um, you already should have a mask on when you're making soap anyway because of the fumes, but that activated charcoal, if it poofs up at you, you can breathe that in and you don't want to be breathing that in. So we've got that added in the oil and then I also added some crafter's choice. I think this was Black Knight Mica, just for an extra layer of darkness in this soap. Um, so we'll plop some of that in there as well. Yep, and it goes, being careful not to poof it. And when you're soaping, you want to make sure that your oils and your lye are both at about the same temperature. So that's what I was doing here, is just checking to make sure that they were both pretty close to the same temperature. And they were. I was right around um, 100 degrees for both my oils and my lye. Um, so yeah, it's at, it's at a good temperature to go ahead and pour that in. And you might be able to see that lye water is that creamy-ish color, and it looks a little bit foggy-ish in there because of the silk that I added. So the next step is to pour your lye water into your oils and get it all mixed up. So here we go. Um, oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to go ahead and stir in that activated charcoal in the black mica to go ahead and get it blended out. So that's what you'll see me doing here is blending that and my big giant hand is right in the way, but you can see what a really pretty color that charcoal and the mica make in, down in those oils. Just a, a really nice black mysterious color. Alright, so we'll just speed through mixing the lye water into the oils. We'll get that added in there. And you got to give it a good mix with the stick blender. What I didn't do a very good job of was getting rid of the uh, air bubbles, which disaster. Some of the air bubbles I was able to get rid of, and some of them were a little bit harder than others. So I eventually got there, but you could see some air bubbles in the finished bars, little teeny tiny ones, but that's okay. And then in plops the fragrance oil. We got to get that blended in really nicely. This fragrance oil behaved really well. It was a super magical blend um, and it mixed up really well. No speeding, no speeding, no acceleration, no racing, etc. So then the next step is let's get this bad boy poured into the mold. And I have a mold here from, I think it's called Workshop Heritage. I really like it. It's a slab mold. Uh, you can get, when you do a soap like I'm going to pour, roughly 21 inch bars out of this mold. 
Uh, if you were doing something decorative, you would likely get less. But um, with the design I was going for, I was able to get about 20 bars out of this mold. And I'm trying to show you that light trace on the top of the soap, if you can see that. Um, that's a good indication that we are ready to get that poured into the mold. And of course, i got to scrape all that extra goodness off there. You can't waste any product. As a soap maker, product is equal to dollars and cents, so you want all of your product to be in your soap instead of stuck on your stick blender. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, let's, um, what am I doing? I'm still getting rid of air bubbles. So I'm ready to get this poured into the mold. Let's go, Deb. Pour it. Put it in the mold. Okay, good heavens, here we go. So pouring it, and I had to stop and kind of tap it down, still trying to get rid of those stupid air bubbles, and pouring the rest of it into the mold. I I love, love the color of this. I needed to pour it. There's me, still trying to get rid of air bubbles. Um, I wanted to pour it when it was still um, fluid enough so that it all spread out evenly into the mold. Uh, I wanted a nice flat surface uh, on the top of the bars. So there, that's what it looks like. Um, wet soap. That's so pretty. Me still, still scraping. I got to get every ounce of that out of there, apparently. <laughs> All right, so now comes the fun part. We're going to add the glitter on top. And I've started with this silver colored glitter. If I can remember, I'll link the color of the glitter uh, down below so you can see what I used on this. Um, but it's this silvery, sparkly glitter. They're nice, fine, skin-safe glitter pieces. And the intent was I wanted to cover the entire top of the um, soap with us, just to kind of create some like stars in the sky kind of sparkly feel. So lots of pumping of glitter. Um, I leave my safety goggles on at this point because not that I mind being covered in glitter, but man, that stuff was really spraying everywhere, but it was just so pretty. All right, so now we'll switch over to, oh, I'm showing us the glitter. There it is. And the glitter sprayer, which is, I love the glitter sprayer. I'll link that too. Those are um, really good to put your glitter in. Um, so you don't have to do the next steps, which is what I did, and try to sprinkle it on there evenly with either your fingers or a makeup brush or something like that. But we're going to start with the different colors of purple glitter. I've got a darker purple and then a lighter purple. And um, I think I'll probably speed through some of this because it took me a little while to get the color blend that I wanted with both of the purples on there. Um, in such a way that it looked like it had some dimension to it and yeah there was lots of tapping and lots of refilling. Phew. Okay, so here is what the finished top looks like. I am spraying it with rubbing alcohol, and you do that to prevent the soda ash, but what I wanted to show you here is how much of a sparkle and shine that gives the glitter when you spray it on the top there. You could just really see the colors in that just jumping out at you. The tops of these are just so, so shimmery and sparkly and a perfect top for a black flame candle soap. Look at that. All the sparkle from all of the edges. These are just going to be stunning on the tops with all of the glitter. I can't wait to um, see the cut bars and see what these look like on top. I already know what they look like, um, but yeah, we'll bring you back for the big reveal. All right, so I wanted to show you an extra little surprise that everyone's gonna get in with their soap this month. Um, it is a 
It's a very special blend. It's a very magical blend of some bath salts. And included with the bath salts is, is um, a very special Hocus Pocus bath spell. I'm not gonna share the spell. I don't want you to be able to try to perform the spell without having all of the right ingredients. But um, this is definitely one of those ingredients. In order to perform a bath spell or any spell, you need to be in the right, right frame of mind. Uh, you have to have some essentials. Salts provide, um, it, it's a, a staple for the witches and the Wiccan community, it seems to be. Not that I'm Wiccan or claim to be, and there's nothing wrong with that if you are. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm, I'm including some bath salts so that when you get in the bathtub and you have your um, black flame candle soap, you can have these salts and perform your own calming bath spell. And in the uh, bath salts are the pink Himalayan sea salt, some big grains of that in there. And then the blue are cornflower petals. And then um, there's dried roses that I've crumbled up and put inside of this. And it's scented in a scent that's extremely similar if not almost exactly, to the black flame candle soap. So a very soothing smell. Uh, that's going to go inside of a little tea bag, and you can either open it and put this all right into your water and just let the sea salts dissolve, or you can just drop the tea bag inside of your bath and let that dissolve. So it's up to you how you want to do that. But I just wanted to show you what some of these um, bath salts look like in case you decide not to take them out of the packaging. Just a beautiful blend um, of colors and the scent and it'll it'll feel really nice in the bath and just like magic we are back to cut the black flame candle soap all right guys here we go all right let's take a look here at the glitter on these bars and see if I can get you a good look at that Oh my goodness, I love, love this. So these bars will turn to a nice, deep, um, grayish black color. And it reminds me of the black flame candle color as I would envision it almost exactly. Look at the different glitters in this, you guys. Love it. All right, let's go ahead and get this cut. Um, I think I'm going to turn it this direction. I want to try really hard not to have glitter drag marks down through there. So I'm going to try to cut it this way. Let's see how we're lined up. It's pretty good. All right, so there's not going to be a lot to see with this, so I'll cut a few bars of it so you can get the idea of what it's going to look like. But, oh my goodness. So excited. Here we go. It does it. And there we have it. Nice, simple, yet very glittery, fun bars on the tops of these. So fun. All right, let's cut a few more here. And if by magic, they're all cut. <laughs> all right, guys, so I want to talk about the packaging to these bars, um, which I had a lot of fun with. Uh, I did them a little bit different than I would package on my traditional bars because these bars are full of magic. So, all right, so let's talk about the packaging for just a minute. Each soap will come packaged in a nice muslin bag, and it has the words Hocus Pocus, as you can see, stamped on the outside of it, along with the little witchy hat. Um, the other thing that you'll receive is your very own chime candle. This is a black candle, so everyone gets one chime candle so that you can summons forth 
the magic of the Sanderson sisters. You'll also get this little printout. This says on here, it's a quote from the movie. So let's light the sucker and meet the old broads. And then the ingredients of the soap are printed on the back. And I, I may have forgotten to say earlier, but it's a very, very nice kind of spooky nighttime blend of blackberries and vanilla with a little special something, something in there for that. So you'll get that. Um, you'll also get this little printable says, and it says, I lit the black flame candle. And um, on the back here, it just tells you a little bit about the black chime candle. It's unscented and it's made from natural soy and coconut wax and light at your own risk. It is a candle, so don't burn yourself. <laughs> so you'll also receive one of these. And then you'll also receive your very own Hocus Pocus bath spell. I'm not going to disclose the spell. You'll have to wait until you get your soap in order to um, do your incantation and your spell. So you'll get that. And then um, every good spell has ingredients that you need. Of course, you're gonna need your bar of black flame candle soap. And then you'll receive some salts in your packaging. And these salts are very magical. So this is your magical kit that you'll receive to perform your own spells to, to bring forth the mystery and spookiness of the Sanderson sisters. I really had fun making this and putting all of this together for everyone. I really hope you enjoy it. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.